Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love messages. These will be from the 23rd until the 30th of November. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of the details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. But I do ask that you... Just read all of that information so that you can get any answers that you need as soon as possible and that way get into the scheduling queue as soon as possible because generally when people are asking questions, the information is there. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to look at your love messages, uh, your feelings, your person's feelings, uh, possible outcome, advice, romance angel, and we're going to finish on a three card pick a card. So what that means is that if this reading isn't resonating with you, you can actually skip ahead to the three card pick a card and ask your question, get an answer. Um, it doesn't need to be in relation to this reading. So hopefully one of the amazing people that timestamps will timestamp um, that three card pick a card below in the comments. All right, let's go. Love messages, please, for Capricorn. 23rd to the 30th of November, Capricorn. Wow, Capricorn, two of cups straight off the bat. That's pretty amazing. So very strong soul bound connection we're talking about here. Okay, temperance in reverse. Oh, my phone's about to go flat. Hang on a second. Okay, we're back. Sorry, we nearly lost it all. All right. So temperance in reverse here. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay. There's previously been some confusion, but now, the, but now there's clarity. So whatever we're talking about here, there is clarity uh, improving in the situation. Two more, please. Capricorn. Yeah. And that's giving you peace of mind. There is a little bit of um, imbalance though. So the connection is still strong. It's still divine. It's still soulmate in nature by the feeling of it. And there is some more, I guess, committed energy coming in for you in the future too. So there's something this week which you will get clarity on. It doesn't mean things are going to be perfect with temperance in reverse here, but it is definitely moving towards a more stable, committed, kind of balanced energy here. Tell me what the King of Pentacles is, please. And then we're going to go into that temperance card. Oh, okay. So one of you is, okay. So we're dealing with an energetic match here, no doubt. We're seeing, seeing that in the Two of Cups. But what we're seeing in the Temperance, again, is one of you is in the upright, one of you is in um, reverse. So there's, there's a misalignment. Um, but I feel like it's actually this clarity is what's going to fix this. Give me more on that Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles setup, please. Oh, well, hang on a second. Who is this third energy? Okay, this is more about, this is not a third energy. This is more, hang on, clarify that. I'm getting two things here. Oh, okay, so there's someone interfering from the past. And this person, they, they're making promises, but they've never kept a promise before. So why would you listen to them now? So this third party is interfering in your connection. It's causing a misalignment between the two of you, but the two of you are, you're meant to be. So I don't know who this third party is, possibly a fire sign, definitely from the past with this six of cups. Um, tell me about temperance, please. Yeah, it's making you sad. Um. What is the Two of Swords in reverse? Again, you know that you have to trust your intuition. One more. So you will get... Mm -hmm. There may be a Pisces involved here as well. You may be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. One more. I know I said one more, but I need more. Okay, so I think you're getting clarity on 
a situation which you already have intuitive feelings about but you've been keeping them to yourself with the hangman and the five of pentacles it's like you've been holding on to what you think has been happening you're getting confirmation of that i don't think it's bad because you're actually got the nine of swords so i think you may actually think or realize that this person is sniffing around or is going to come back around um i feel like it's someone from your past though not their past so it is a general though so it could go either way but the clarity that you're getting like the confirmation of what you kind of knew as part of your intuition it's positive. Nine of Swords, please, in reverse. One more. So it might be something to do with, um, yeah, you're, you can't stop thinking about it. It's causing you like a lot of stress. Um, even though there's nothing to worry about here. It's like you're still bound by these, by this worry, by these thoughts. It's a lot of work. It's taking up energy. Um, it may be someone from your work or your partner's work that they work with or school with or whatever, study work, anything like that. Um, let's go into thoughts and feelings, please, for Capricorn. Okay, so you're keeping secrets. Why? You may be holding on to your feelings. Mm, what are you doing, Capricorn? Holding on to the feelings. This is you showing up. So definitely you holding on to your feelings, maybe not communicating anything that you're feeling in terms of this intuitive space. What's Capricorn's other person's thoughts and feelings, please? Thoughts and feelings for the other person. Okay. They've got stuff they want to tell you. So they do have something that they're preparing to tell you with that page of swords there. Um, mm, they might not have been truthful with you, but they're about to tell you the truth. So they know that they might not have been truthful with you, but you're about to hear the truth. I don't think it's a bad truth. I think you knew something has been happening, but I think once you get clarity, it's actually not as bad as you think it is. Let's see what we've got for most likely outcome. Most likely outcome for Capricorn, please. Mm, two of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Okay, so this is going to damage your connection. And I think it's the lie that's going to damage the connection. Oof, the lovers in reverse. Yep. So you just got the Two of Cups in reverse and the lovers in reverse. Yep, it's this information that comes in. It's the fact that they're going to tell you that, hey, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. Hmm. Two more, please. Most likely outcome. Ten of cups in reverse. Okay. So if you live together, you may move out. Um, yep. If it'll be for a period of time. Okay, so we've got the seven of pentacles here. So it's like waiting. You will move out for a period of time. You will probably separate for a period of time. I can't believe we've got two of cups, lovers, and ten of cups all in reverse, all because of this page of swords, whatever information they're thinking about bringing forward, this truth that they need to tell you because they haven't been entirely truthful. It's going to cause a ripple big time. Um, but I don't think this is a forever separation here. This is a period of time. I need time. I need to just, you know, gather my thoughts, get myself together um, before the next bit. Now, this is a week reading. Remember, we don't know what's going to happen for this week. But like I said, I think that you will go, you might move out, stay at a friend's house, whatever um, for this week. But there will be some, it's something to do with the home. You might just ask them to move and stay somewhere else for a little bit. Um, but yeah, something to do with your home environment, family environment, you, it's, it's the family. Um, there's this pause. I feel like I just need time. I need to step back from this. Um, let me see what's going on here with advice. Advice for Capricorn in this situation, please. Capricorn, I was so happy at the beginning and now I'm less happy. They lead me up the garden path and it's going to be an amazing reading and then it's like, boom. 
still don't feel it's yeah, you're being encouraged to take that time here with the repeating energy. I still don't feel like it's as bad as what you think. I think it's the lie that's actually got you going. I can't talk to you right now. That's how I feel. I'm like, just get out of my space, get away from me. St- I cannot talk to you. Just, I just can't talk to you. That's what I, I'm feeling. That's the, that's the words in my head at the moment. Um, you do need to take that time. Spirits confirming advice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because you're tied to this, uh, like you're tied to this. I can't believe they lied to me. Um, and you need time to process that here. I think that you are someone who is holding on to your emotions as well, because the moon card just tried to pop out then as well in the upright. One more, please. Advice. One more, sorry. I just want to clarify the Empress in reverse. Okay. So you are, they are going to come rushing back in because they can see that they've, they've hurt you, um, that, you've, that they've made you feel unloved, like unappreciated and undervalued. And so in terms of that, there is success coming in terms of, um, you know, some mm, – the situation moving to a more positive stage. Yes, it will come, but only once they come back after seeing how much you've been hurt. And I think previously you hold on to your feelings and maybe it's not always clear to them when you are hurting, but this, I think telling them to leave or that you need space or that you need to stay somewhere else, that's going to really show them. I think that's actually what's going to go. They're going to have the, oh my God moment, because you do need to take that space so you can deal with all of your emotions that you're holding on to and trapped by at the moment because they're stuck inside you here. All right, let's do a romance angel, please. Romance angels for Capricorn. wedding okay so there may be something oh there may be something to do that wanted to really come out so I'm pulling it um it was like it was like trying to jump off the off my hand so this may be an ex coming back around I feel like you may may be engaged or talking about getting engaged or you you know talking about weddings and this X has come sniffing around again, causing trouble potentially. Um, they need to release this, but they have it's this lie. It's not that they've done anything wrong. I do not feel like they have done anything wrong, 100%. It's the fact that they haven't been totally upfront with you about it. Um, that's what's getting me agitated <laughs> and I feel your agitation. All right, let's see what we've got. Think of a question you would like answered. It doesn't need to be in relation to this reading. I'm going to select three cards. Whichever card you're most drawn to is the answer to your question. So card number one, please. Card number two. And card number three. Okay. If you are most drawn to card number one, your answer is... Ask your angels. It's so important. You have to actually vocalize what you want from your angel guides um, or or spirit guides, sorry, Um, angel guides. Well, maybe that's the cross Um, because they can only intervene and only help you when you ask. Keep in mind, just because you ask doesn't mean they're going to give you what you want. They'll give you what's best for your highest good, okay? Whichever, uh, sorry, if you're most drawn to card number two, your answer is forgiveness. So forgiveness will be key to this situation. If that is in relation to this, take some time, but I think forgiveness will be key here. Again, I don't feel like they've done anything really, like they haven't done anything with this person. I think they've just not told you that they've come sniffing around. If you're most drawn to card number three, Remain positive. Key is remaining positive in whatever you're asking about. That will help move the situation forward. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me. Um, Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comments are critical to YouTube creators at the moment. So please, even if you're just saying hi, I read them all. I respond to as many as I can. Um, If you feel like you need a personal reading for your actual circumstances, reach out to me uh, using the information down in the description box. Make sure that you just read everything though and that way um, we can get you in as, as soon as possible. All right, have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye.